Guys, this is video 2.5. We're going to be talking about average atomic mass in this video. Um, and the, kind of the question that guides our understanding and our thought process behind this is, why are there decimals on the masses on the periodic table? So if you think back to the last couple of videos where we were talking about counting protons, neutrons, and electrons, all those subatomic particles, you would, if you look back, maybe you noticed it, maybe you didn't, all of the masses were whole numbers. But if we go really quickly over here to our reference tables and we look at our um, periodic table, right, and of course mine did not turn, but you can see it, okay? If we look at the upper left corner, like if you look on yours, you'll notice, right, that they have decimals, okay? Um, so why? Why would that be? Well, this goes right along with our last video on isotopes. It's because that um, the masses that we see there, they are the average, the weighted average, that's key, the weighted average of all the naturally occurring isotopes of each element. Okay. Now, weighted average, maybe you've calculated a weighted average before, but this is how your grades are calculated. So for this class, um, or in this class, for example, right, your tests count as a certain percentage, quizzes count as a certain percentage, labs, all that. So they're not weighted equally. That's true of each isotope. Okay, Each isotope has a different percent abundance that occurs naturally, so we have to kind of give more weight to that. Okay, <clears throat> So... What we're going to do is it's the percent abundance of each isotope in decimal form times the mass of that isotope that corresponds to it. Okay, we would do that multiplication step for every isotope we have, whether it's one, two, or three. It could be four, five, or six, depends on how many they give you. And then we add them up. Okay, once we do the math, once we do the multiplication, we add up all the pieces. So let's jump into an example. Okay, if they give you the exact mass, Make sure you're using that in your calculation. If they just give you only like the hyphen notation, like a rounded mass, like a mass number, right, whole number, you can use that. But if they, like in this example, they gave us the actual mass, like on the regents they could, make sure you use the actual one. Otherwise, your answer could be slightly off. And if it's a multiple choice question, all right, and it's not close, it could lead you to choosing the wrong answer choice. So... Organization is going to be key, especially if you know you don't like math. Organization is going to be key. So, chlorine 35, okay, we're going to take its mass, which when we look at it, 34.96, oops, 96, can't write, 9689 multiplied by its percent abundance. Okay, so that's where in this problem we got to read a little bit further. So it says there is 32.51% of chlorine in, or if chlorine is chlorine 37, and then here's our one for chlorine 35. So the biggest piece is that you match up the correct percent abundance to the correct isotope. Now, how do we get a percentage in decimal form? Guys, it's a percent out of 100, so you're just going to divide by 100. So if I take 67.49 divided by 100, that's going to give me 0.6749. So really, we're just going to kind of move that decimal two spots. Be careful if they give you a single digit percentage. It's easy to just put it in your calculator, guys. Do the math, divide it by 100, because when you have a single percentage, like we'll see in the next problem, if people sometimes will forget to move it enough spots, and then their answer will be off. So 0.6749 Okay, do the math. 23.6005 is what I get. We're going to do the same thing for our other isotope. So in this case, we only have two isotopes, but if we had more, we would just continue the process. So our exact mass of chlorine 37 is actually 36.9659. All right, and again, got that right up here. We're going to multiply it by its percentage. Make sure you convert it to a decimal first, so 0 0.3251. And when we do the math, go to the calculator, 12.0176. Last step, make sure you add these up because, again, these are weighted averages. But it should make sense that, hey, our overall mass, when we add those up, 35.618. Okay, it should make sense, guys, that, hey, our 
average is going to be closer to chlorine 35. Why? Well, look, it's got a bigger percent abundance. So the close, the one that has the highest percentage should be relatively close to that number, depending on how many isotopes you have. Now, for the sake of review, let, let's think about how would we report this to correct sig figs? Hmm, good question, right? So we would look at the number of decimals because we're adding. They each have four, so that would be the correct number of sig figs. Okay, so it is correct sig figs already. Remember, you only have to report to correct sig figs if the problem asks you to. Okay, so here's another example. I want you guys, I would encourage you, um, try this one on your own. Pause the video and come back and check your work. Now, the mass for each isotope is not given to us, the exact mass. Okay, so if the exact mass is not given to us, we use the mass number that they give us. So in this case, we have carbon 12, we have carbon 13. I'm going to work mine out a little bit differently, just a little bit different organization. Okay, you can choose which way you want. Just make sure you're organized and be consistent so that you know what you're doing. So in this case, my first isotope is 12. Its percentage is 0 0.9889. And I'm going to add it to my other one. So now I have 13. Here's the key. Guys, make sure that you move this two decimal places, not just one. A lot of times students will do this because they're going too quickly. Okay, but the proper way is this, okay, because you divide by 100 to get it into decimal out of um, percent form, okay. So when we go ahead and we write this out, we get 12.011 units or atomic mass units, AMU. You could see it either way. It could be U or it could be AMU, okay, just be on the lookout. It could be either of those. Now, you could be asking yourself, how do I know if I did this correctly? Guys, you have your periodic table. Your answer should be very, very similar to what you see on the periodic table. So if we look, ours would be something like 12.01 if we look on our periodic table. So that is close enough. If you're within about a tenth, either way, you should be okay. So go ahead. You guys can work on practice six on your own, and I'll see you in the next video.